in today's video i'm gonna talk about uscs application fees yes guys on uh, uscs will increase their application fees if it's something you want to know just stay tuned and i'll be right back usa mond good morning my beautiful people this is john from usa mond and welcome back and thanks for watching if it's your first time on my channel as always Welcome. If you are new here, we talk about immigration. Or I help newcomers and permanent resident. If you're a citizen here in the United States of America, we talk about different topic, uh, finance and business, but mostly immigration. Okay. So, like I say in the introduction of today, we're gonna talk about USCIS application fees. Yes, guys, USCIS gonna increase the application fees again. If you remember back in 2016, USCIS increased their um, application fees by 21%, and at this time they're gonna increase the fees by 20%. And the reason behind this is because uh, I don't know if you've been watching the news, but USCIS is having a financial problem, and um, they have to uh, cover costs, you know, different costs related to the immigration system, related to uh, technology they're using uh, uh, to improve the quality of the, their services. By increasing this uh, application fees, uh, USCIS is going to be able to, you know, uh, provide a payroll to their staff. Um, that this will help them to prevent uh, fraud related to uh, application, and, uh, and also, you know, that will help them, uh, you know, cover costs of the technology they use in, in their system uh, in general. Okay, so on October second, twenty twenty, you will see all those fees uh, increase. But good news is not all fees. Not all application fees will increase. Some of the application fees will decrease, but only few of them. But most of the application fees uh, will increase. Okay. And now uh, one other good thing is uh, USCIS is offer ten dollars discount. Uh, you know, if you file uh, the application online instead of uh, a paper form, so you have to get like a ten dollars uh, on discount. If you are ready to see how much you're gonna pay for your application fees on uh, starting October second, twenty twenty, let's go in front of my computer hello guys uh, this is gonna be the fees uh, the, you can see you know, we have the current fee and final fees uh, how much uh, your application uh, fee will be uh, starting October 2nd 2020 okay so over here as you see uh, for I-90 application to replace a uh, permanent resident card uh, this one is currently on uh, 455 but uh, in October it's gonna be 405 so this one decreased by $50 uh, which is a uh, a good thing this one also uh, I mean, this one is on the online filing if you file online but if you file um, you know, the paper uh, form or uh, like uh, you, you use a uh, paper filing then uh, you only gonna you know save on uh, $40 basically okay and over here you see the uh, I-102 uh, application for replacement initial non-immigrant uh, arrival departure document uh, currently you pay no uh, 445 for this and then uh, October you're gonna pay 485 increase on uh, this one was increased on uh, by uh, forty dollars okay and then uh, this one here which one is this one I one twenty nine this one I mean nothing changed over here for uh, I want twenty nine petition for non immigrant worker uh, this one over here, I want 29 uh, CW, I want 29 E, e and uh, TN, I want 29 uh, uh, MISC. You can see the uh, right now it's on 460, it will go to 695. And, uh, this one was increased by $235, which is uh, 21%. Okay, and then from there, we're gonna move on. Uh, you know, some of those um, application, uh, you, you know maybe some of you, I never heard of them before because I usually don't talk about them um, but you know you can see here uh, we have uh, I-129 uh, H1 and this one from uh, 460 to 555 and this one uh, I-129 H2A it's gonna be from 460 to 850 increase with $390 uh, I-129 H2B uh, this one 460 to 715 so 220 uh, five uh, increase over there. I want you in nine L from four sixty to eight oh five uh three hundred and forty five. Uh I want twenty nine uh I I tune twenty nine uh, oh basically so four sixty to seven oh five uh the increase on two forty five got I want twenty nine uh H two A uh four sixty to four fifteen 
on uh, this one decrease on $45 good thing I want you know it's to be from 460 to 385 that one decrease on $75 we got our 29 F over here a petition for alien fiance this one is on 535 right now it's gonna go to 510 with the decrease for by you know, $25 which is a good thing I want 30 petition for alien relative if you file online it's gonna be 535 if you uh, right now it's, it's on 535 uh, and it's gonna be 550 if you file online if you don't file online you know it's gonna be you no know, right now it's 535 or it's gonna increase to uh, 560 which is gonna be what $25 increase I want 31 application for travel document on 575 will go to 590 and then I want 31 uh, refugee travel document for individual age of 16 and older this one will be at 135 to 145 ten dollars increase I want 31 refugee travel document for child under age of 16 from 105 to 115 then I want 35 a application for travel document uh, for carrier documentation from uh, 575 to 1010 dollars so that one is like uh, 435 dollars uh, increase and then we go to I 140 immigration petition immigrant petition uh, for alien worker you go from uh, 700 to 555 this one was decreased by 145 dollars and then I want 91 application for relief uh, under uh, formal section uh, 2012 of uh, immigration and uh, national nationality act this one will go from uh, 930 to 790 on uh, 140 decrease that's a good thing over there and then uh, I want uh, 92 uh, you can see you can see here I want 92 uh, application for advance permission to enter as a non immigrant uh, it's gonna f go from uh, 585 to 1400 so both on uh, i wanted to two here and this one also i wanted to for advance uh, permission to enter as a non-immigrant uh, uh, uscs okay this one's for cbp this one for uscs so this one will go from 930 to 1400 and then we have um i want 93 application of a waiver uh, of a passport and or visa it go from 585 to 2790 dollars so that will be increased this one will increase by 2205 dollars wow then uh, i212 application for permission to reapply for admission into the u.s after deportation or removal it will go from 930 to 1050 increase of on 120 I 290B notice on, of appeal or, or motion from 675 to 700. Uh, I 360 petition for American or widow or special immigrant from 435 to 450 increase of $15. And then I 485 application to register permanent residence from 1140 to 1130. This one will decrease by $10. That's a good thing because most of you guys. Are filing on uh, that type of application so over here on uh, if you see over here like uh, adjust the status on so this one is for children under age of 14 so right now the uh, current fee is on 750 and uh, that will go to $1,130 you see the one over here that will be the uh, the final fee on uh, this one uh, was, is increased by or 380 so those child when they are uh, filing with their parent basically they are delivered applicants so they're gonna pay that that amount of money so the new amount will be $1,130 it's like 20 51 percent uh, increase and then we have on uh, uh, i5 or 26 uh, immigrant or petition uh, by alien investor this one will go from uh, three thousand six hundred seventy five dollars for four thousand ten dollars and then uh, we have an uh, i5 on 39 application to extend on change on non-immigrant status with your own um, uh, this is a paper filing it's going to be from 370 to 430 dollars increase we go from there we go to i589 let me see here i589 yeah it's going to be application for asylum uh, with uh, withholding 
of um, removal that one uh, the current five is on there zero dollars now it's good they're gonna pay fifty dollars for that okay i60 oh, i60 i600 and i608 adoption petition or uh, in uh, application it go from 775 from to 805 uh, i600 a supplement uh, three request uh, for action on approval from uh, i600 a now they're not paying anything now uh, starting october they're gonna start paying four hundred dollars i601 application for waiver or for ground of uh, excludability you know, I don't even know which form is that one it's gonna go from uh, $930 to $1,010 on uh, IN 601A uh, provisional uh, unlawful present waiver from $630 to $960 I612 application for waiver for the foreign residence uh, requirement will go from $930 to $515 and then um, we we'll go which one is this one yeah i know 687 application for status on as a temporary resident from 1130 to 1130 nothing change over here i690 the application for waiver of ground of admissibility uh, from 715 to 765 and i697 notice on of appeal of uh, decision from 890 dollars to 715 I-698 application to adjust status on from temporary to permanent resident. You go from 1,670 to 1,615. Now, I-751 petition to remove all condition on residence from 595 to 760. I-765 application for employment authorization from 410 to $550. And this one is increased by $140 i765 on uh, this one is okay the first one is from non deca okay and then the second one is on uh, for deca uh, only if for deca uh, it's gonna be from uh, 410 to 410 nothing changed for people who are on uh, deca okay and then uh, i800 uh, i800 a adoption petition and uh, application from 775 to 805 i 800a supplement three requests for action on approval form i 800a from 385 to 400 i a 17 application for family unity on benefits from 600 to 590 i a 24 application for action on an approval application or petition from 465 to 495 ia 29 a petition for petition by investor to remove condition from 3750 to 3900 increase of 150 then ia 81 application for suspension of a deportation from 285 to 1810 dollars this one was increased by we're going to increase by 1525 and now we're going to move to a special rule cancellation of removal so it's on uh, two types you know there is one for individual one for family so the one for individual is going to be 285 and for it, right now it's 285 we go to 1810 for family it will move from uh from 570 to 1810 so for family that one was cre increased by will be increased by 1240 and then we move to I-910 application for civil surgeon designation from 785 to 635. Then I-924 application for regional center designation under the Immigration Investor Program from 17,795 to 17,795. Nothing change over here. This one is expensive. Never heard about this one before. And then this one, uh, uh, I um, 924A uh, annual certification of, of original center from 3035 to 4465. I 929 petition for qualifying family member of a U1 non immigrant from 230 uh, to 1485. This one will increase by 1255. 
and uh, 300 application uh, to file a declaration of intention from 270 to 1305 and uh, 336 requires some for hearing on a decision in naturalization proceeding online filing from 700 to 1725 and then uh, we're gonna move over here to and uh, 336 requests on uh, for hearing on the decision in naturalization proceeding on uh, oh I just talked about this one now uh, the next one is on uh, yeah the next one is on uh, the first one is online filing the second one is on uh, paper filing from 700 to 1735 this will increase by 1035 and 400 application for naturalization online filing from 640 to 1160 wow increased by 520 so 140 application for naturalization paper filing this one will go from 640 and uh, i think this one's for kids uh 320 so they bo both will increase by 1100 and uh let me see in 70 let me check something quick here for n400 application uh, for naturalization online filing you see that they have uh, two fees on uh, the paper filing we have online filing which is i just talked about and then the paper filing there's kind of two fees 614 and 320 if you see here it said number eight so when you scroll if you come down here or well, what I'm saying let me see if I can do this here like over here it explains that okay um currently there are two on fees for paper filing of form N400 so this uh, final rule uh, eliminates uh, the reduction uh, the reduce on fee option for an applicant whose document uh, income is greater than 150% and no more than 200 percent of the federal public guideline oh that's why we have uh, two fees over there okay okay and then uh, we'll move to uh, n uh, 470 application uh, to preserve a residence for naturalization purpose naturalization purpose uh, is going from 355 to 1585 this one is will increase by 1230 and uh, 565 application for replacement naturalization or uh, certificate uh, document online filing from 555 to 535 and then um, the paper filing of that is going to be from uh, 555 to 545 actually this one it decreased a little bit at ten dollars now uh, n600 application for certification of uh, citizenship or online filing from 1000 from 1170 to 990 and 600 application for certificate of uh, not, uh, citizenship paper filing it's going to be from 1170 to 1000 and uh, 400 uh, k application for citizenship uh, and uh, issuance of certificate online filing from 1170 to 935 then we have on uh, n uh, 600 k application for citizenship of issuance of uh, a certificate of paper filing so we have online filing we got paper filing here so the on the paper filing will be from what nine yeah, 1170 to 945 so this one decreased by 225 uscs on uh, immigrant fee from uh, 220 dollars so yeah you some of you guys um are paying those fees now it's going to be from 220 from to 190 so this one did they, they, they decrease this one by 30 dollars that's a good thing and our uh, biometric service for non-deca deca is on uh, from 85 dollars to 30 dollars for deca it's going to be nothing changed for deca okay and then a uh, g1041 on uh, g genealogy genealogy in this on search request online filing from sixty five dollars to one hundred and sixty and then uh, we have here we have on g1041 on uh, genealogy on uh, in this research on request paper filing from sixty five to one hundred and seventy on g1041 a genealogy record on request online filing 65 dollars to 255 and then uh, paper filing will go from 
$65 to $265. So basically, those are the fees. Um, you know, at, you know, I just went through the current fee and uh, the the fee you guys are gonna pay uh, starting October second, twenty twenty. Some of you guys uh, who are gonna file those applications, you just have to be aware that the uh, the fee will increase. Okay, don't don't be shocked if you see the fee increase because they already told you guys they're gonna increase it. So guys, if you have any question, I know it's kind of a long video. Uh, you can take time and go through it. And uh, you can go to ACS website also and uh, to look for this information. But if you have any questions, just leave it in the description below. I will do my best uh, to answer it. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys love it and learn something from it. If you know somebody who needs to watch this video, please share with that person. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more video like this one, all you got to do is click on this. Once again, my name is John. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. USA Monday.